welcome back into Slicker Z's channel. We were having some issues before, and I think the game itself is actually kind of messing up right now. But uh, we were able to at least get some video footage here, even if it's discolored. She lost Gulu once. How can she hope to protect him now? Didi, you lost me before. I don't know if you can save me. Please don't lose me again. There's no time, Didi. I'm dead. Like a weird dream sequence. Raji, can't you find me? Maybe you aren't strong enough. What? God damn directional path. <laughs> hey, I mean, uh, this is a pretty interesting game. I um, have enjoyed it so far. It's just uh, the one thing I notice that I don't like is that the jumping, because a lot of this oh, game, my sister. oh shit, is platforming. You will reach me in time. Why are we so you far lost apart? me before, Didi. Please don't lose Didi. me again. I don't know if you can save me. God damn it. And the bad thing is you can't change direction while you're in the air. But how are you doing? It's been a while. can reach me you lost me think before you will didi. reach me in time please don't lose me again Oh, really? This reminds me of a uh, fuck, what game was it? Nino Kuni had something like this where you had to control two people at once. That was real fun. It was real fun. Cold War a lot. That's good. I don't know. I haven't really... I heard it was pretty fun. I've seen some people playing it. I think we're both over the edge here. For some reason, a Genki Shadow Cast, like, I, I mean, it's been pretty good so far, but um, on this game, for some reason, it is really messing up. Um, this whole scene right now, the whole part that's been green, 
it has a blue overtone, but for some reason... So for some reason, the game, or the Genki Shadow Cast is showing this all in green when it has actually a blue overtone. So... Because I pulled the switch up and I was like, uh, having issues just seeing the scene. So I was trying to figure out what was going on. Yeah, they're together now. It is weird. The mystic chieftain warned her. Their enemy was Mahabalasura, the outcast, the most powerful mystic ever born. That he had stolen held a mantra to rip open the gates of the Dev Heavens. And Raji was the only one with the power to stop him before he tore apart the world. myself off there um yeah it's weird like that whole scene was like in a whole different color but for some reason uh genki shadow cast wasn't showing that but then it showed that whole video part as normal like this here maybe it was uh just the over overshadowing of or whatever they call it overlay uh video just was causing issues it was reading blue, and Genki was like, nah, this is green. I mean, it still looked good, it was just green instead of blue. So this is where they sent me. This can only be the deserts of Thar. How will I find the gate? Well... Oh. This place is said to be infinite. Infinite? Yet she will find it. Infinite? And she will face Mahabalasura. And she will overcome him. He is full of tricks, that one. I believe he has a deeper strategy. Raji must be careful, but she must also be swift. It makes me wonder if maybe, because I haven't played this game at all on the Switch except for like the demo, which is like the very beginning. So it makes me wonder if the Genki Shadow Cast is giving me a different color than what the game is actually giving me. But I mean, so far the Genki has been pretty spot on. I haven't had any delays, which I had with the Elgato. Hey, you yeah. know, maybe in I'll try the, the PlayStation here in the future. That is the gate. I'm sure of it. I need not have worried. These mystics know what they're about. Indeed, there they lie. The gates to Dev Bhumi. Oh, I can't climb up that? Alright, fuck you. This is so strange. I have walked here before. Have I not? What is this place? Why does it feel so familiar? Watch this be like where her dad brought her. Okay, that's cool. Show the outside wall. Oh, hey. But I mean, overall, this game um, is pretty cool, and 
the Genki Shadowcast, I would say probably like an 8 out of 10 if I were to like be evaluating it. I might actually. Um, I'd like to try some other games on the Switch. Uh, more games that are determined by uh, like speed and stuff, like maybe Cuphead or I have a couple others that are Switch only based games that I'd like to try out someday. One last blessing, my child, before you face your foe in battle. War is my domain, and you are now no stranger to it. But may my words strengthen your bones. May they armor your skin, and grant might to your limbs. And know that I am proud, for your heart is already as strong as can be. Man, yesterday, um, well, let's see, today is the 30th of May, so yesterday, May 29th, uh, I know this video will be coming out, like, way later than that. We went, uh, over to my girlfriend's, uh, sister and brother-in-law's house, and they have a pool, and I haven't swam, like, in a pool since I was probably, like, <laughs> in my 20s. So at least six or seven years ago. Because I'm old as fuck, alright? I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was kind of fun. I didn't realize, I mean, you're just kind of playing around with the kids and swimming and stuff. And man, it really, like, is exhausting sometimes. Shit, no, go that way. It's exhausting, but also a ton of fun. Ooh. To this place. A stable in an infinite desert. At its base, a shining tree. I have seen all this before. Somehow, it feels like a part of me. It is all I may do at this place. In this time. Thank you, Lord Vishnu. You grant a gift of most celestial power. Mahabalasura is no weakling. Let us hope it will be enough. Oh, is that my new weapon? It is. Interesting. Sound is so weird. Makes me think of the old 19, like, 95 Windows, uh water um fuck what was it called water theme i don't know if you guys remember that with the like fishes and stuff and like the screen shape saver would have fishes on the screen and then it would uh have a shark randomly appear and stuff like that but a lot of the sound effects while you were clicking on things would have that god man i'm just like thinking of that like puts me so far back in my mind of like memories and stuff Okay, so I'm supposed to go that way. It makes me think of like, you guys remember, I think it was called like Dangerous Creatures. It had one that was similar to that and it was, it had like this frog that if you touched it, it was poisonous and then it had like all these other animals. It was pretty cool. 
Nowadays, like, Windows themes aren't really, like, a thing. At least I feel like, for me, I don't really get a chance to, uh, use them as much anymore. I, I think maybe it was because, um, computers had really just kind of started coming out and, um, had really kind of shown that hey they can do this and they can do that and they can do all these all these cool things and look at these cool themes you can have and I just remember being like oh that's so awesome let me play command and conquer and have these cool themes I mean now I'll, um, I have like a pretty I want to say an amazing computer um, it's about three years old now but at the time, it was pretty amazing. I mean, I could probably update it some, but ooh, that's really cool. Thank you, Lord Vishnu. Just talking a lot. I don't know she why. She wields the chakra as <laughs> one born to it. The chakra is bound to the heart of its wielder. If your heart is pure, it will act as an extension of your will. If your heart is corrupt, it will destroy you. Oh, cool. I'm just gonna kill all you bitches. I feel like, uh, what's the guy in, um, Guardians of the Galaxy? Who has the arrow thing? Oh, I can't do any of this with that one. Okay. Is a divine disc like weapon which is constantly in motion and will follow the heart of the wielder. If the heart is pure, it will act as an extension of your will. If your heart is corrupt, it will consume you. Oh. So I can't add any options to it, like this one. It's kind of a cool little attack. I like it. Definitely makes me feel like I'm overpowered, but it also makes me wonder, like, how bad is this bad guy going to be? The main bad guy here. This kind of gives me a lot of God of War vibes, just with all these, like, statues that are laying around. I don't know if you played the most recent uh, God of War, but it had a lot of... Excuse me, similarities. Um, where there was a statue and everything, and... Oh, that was cool. Let's see if they do it again. If you watch the sand, it moves. Yeah, you see that over there to the right? How it's moving? I know it's like a simple little thing, but that's pretty cool. Man, it's like one hitting all of them. some health. Oh, okay. I thought we were about to do a cutscene. I was wrong. Looks like a final boss scene right here, though. If, if I do say so myself. Finally, Raji faced Mahabalasura, and he revealed the extent of his power. Uh -huh. 
she must call upon everything that she had learned to defeat him. So, you are worse. Sorry guys, I paused it right there. I feel like, um, for those on stream, we're going to keep going. For those in YouTube, this is a good stopping point. I feel like the next uh, video is just going to be us fighting this dude. And I think that would be kind of a cool little cut. Um, so if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you check out my other videos. Sorry, this one's going to be a little bit shorter than most. Um, but have a good one. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in and watching my Let's Plays. If you're enjoying this, make sure you like the video and also subscribe and click that bell icon. It will help the channel out. Also, if you have any recommendations for any other games for me to play while I'm live or games for me to review, please leave a comment below and just let me know what you'd like for me to look into. If you'd like to contact me outside of YouTube, below in the comments I'll leave my Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and Discord information so that way you can reach me outside of the videos. This is The Still Grizzly thanking you once again for watching my videos. Mm -hmm.